Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another video. I hope you're doing well and having a great day, a great week, whatever you're up to, wherever you are. Probably like me, just at home. But hey ho, it's the new normal. Don't forget to grab yourself a hot drink and maybe some biscuits because I've got a feeling, just a tiny little feeling, this is going to be a long one. Yeah, I went on ASOS, I bought a few bits. Look, I have not done an ASOS order in what feels like forever i honestly think probably since i was about 17 so there was a lot of choice on there there was a lot of bits i wanted to get my hands on i'm very very excited to share with you all of the stuff that i did order i'd love to hear your thoughts below because anything that we're not vibing will be going back to asos i'm really really excited to get into it i will also drop a link below to my little top and shorts as well as absolutely everything from today's video the questions that you guys have got feel free to comment i'm always in the comment section if you're not already subscribed to my channel what are you doing Hello, my name is Georgia May. Um, I film a lot of haul videos. I like to kind of film get ready with me's, all sorts. Go and check my channel out. If you like what you see, please, please hit subscribe. We are nearly at 100,000 subscribers. It is just absolutely crazy. Um, to any of you that have been with me from the beginning, or you're new, thank you so, so much. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you turn the bell on and click the thumbs up button just so I know that you guys like this style of video. I have pulled myself away from the BBC series Normal People which I am currently gripped by. If you follow me on Instagram you will already know that. I'll put my Instagram here and in the description box. But yes I've managed to kind of like lure myself away because I really really want to share with you guys all of the beautiful bits that I picked up. I think you're going to love a lot of the stuff because I've got high hopes. So that is enough rambling and let's just dive straight into today's video. <laughs> old bag i spent a lot of money like a lot so i'd have to return some of this stuff please don't let me keep it all i'm gonna start with a pair of trainers some of you guys might know but lately i have really got into working out and fitness i found it a really nice escape during this kind of situation that we all find ourselves in and i really would recommend it if you're kind of like tearing your hair out and going a little bit crackers honestly fitness and workouts and runs and even yoga and like meditation has just really really helped me so I have been wearing these trainers for, <laughs> I honestly think it's probably been like six years, something horrendous like that. Um, you guys ask me a lot about these trainers, but I don't even think they make them anymore. If they do, I will link them below. But as you guys can see, there's actually a hole. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a hole in the front of the trainer. Like my toe literally pokes out. And I guys are just yeah i've started running a lot more and these are not the one so i was really clueless i'm not a trainer expert in any sense of the word my dad actually is like a real big fitness person he does like iron men and marathons and all that good stuff so I probably should have gone to him but i didn't instead i went on the asos website and i ordered the prettiest pair of trainers i could find because please tell me that's not just my logic that's a lot of you guys' logic out there okay so these trainers were 80 pounds i did manage to get a 10 percent discount off asos with my sister's student code um which is always very useful but yeah this is what they look like i just love them so impractical they're white trainers but i really really like them they have kind of like some pops of color on the back they have a little bit of a lilac and a pink i thought they were gorgeous we'll have to see obviously how i get on with them but it's about time i kind of upgraded my trainers if anyone is really into their kind of running trainers and stuff like that these are called the nike renew so we'll give them a go i am no expert but they were really pretty i mean even with this outfit i would wear them okay so next up i have this super cute little mini skirt this is from a brand called motel i'm a massive motel fan i've shopped with them since i was really really young i think since the website was relatively new um and i have a really old video on my channel where i did haul some pieces from motel i would love to do another motel video so maybe i'll bring that to you guys if you're interested but i saw this on the website and i just thought it was a really really lovely shape it is this kind of cute dalmatian print it would look really great with a top like this i'm gonna pop it on and then we can talk about it in a bit more depth so this is the little mini skirt from motel um first up the material of this is really lovely it's quite like a thick yet stretchy fabric so i hope you guys can kind of see the stretch on that which i really really love i think it looks so cute with this little top i've got on now i did grab this in a medium which is kind of random for me i would typically go for a large so i don't know if they didn't have the large or i just felt like i wanted to try out the medium i really like the fit of this i know some of you are going to say that is way too short or the split goes up way too high 
I kind of am with you, but I think on a summer holiday or in like the heat of the summer, if I was going to like the park with my friends or something, this would be something I would pick up and I would wear. Um, I like the fact that it's quite tight and I like the fact that it's kind of like a bit of a mini skirt. I wonder if I would have preferred it without the split, but I don't hate the split. This is the length of the back. It is, like I said, quite short on me. I am five foot seven just as a guide. I'm probably taller than five foot seven, like five foot eight, that kind of height. I actually love this skirt. I'm really, really surprised. This is not something I kind of expected to like as much as I do. So next up, I actually ordered a pair of jeans. Yes, Georgia ordered a pair of jeans. Um, anyone that's been here a while knows how crazy that sentence is. Me and jeans just don't really get along that well. I always, I, please tell me if you feel the same. I go to put them on before a night out. I look in the mirror and I'm like, no, I don't feel happy, I don't feel confident, I don't like myself in them. And I always think if you're gonna go out in something like you wanna feel like confident in it. So I never end up wearing them out of the house, but I saw these on Stradivarius and I was like, let's give them a whirl, see what we think. I just loved the light denim. These were 19 99 which I thought was a really good price. Kind of a little bit too good to be true. So we'll have to see. Yeah, I will talk about them more when I've got them on. I'm probably even more confused than how I was before I popped them on. Firstly, the color is so lovely. I think my sister would really love these jeans. I'm gonna go and show them to her, because I think they're a bit of her. The style is called a mum slim fit, which is what drew me to them. I love the idea of the mum jean, but it just doesn't work too well on my body type, if I'm being 100% honest. I thought the idea of something that's a bit more slim fitting could be slightly more flattering. First things first, I love how high-waisted they are. I think that's so nice. It means you can wear them with little cropped tops like this, little cropped t-shirts. The only thing is, they look really good on the bum actually. You can see there's a mirror there and I'm quite, I think they're quite flattering the where, where the pockets are sort of placed. But there is a gap, like look, I can fit both my hands in my jeans. There's like a big old gap. I've never not had this issue with jeans uh, where they've like actually fit super tight around my waist and then not, you know, ripped at my thighs so it's just a problem that i have it doesn't actually bother me too much i am just going to pop on a belt to see if that kind of helps the problem this is kind of why they're hitting me so they're definitely like a crop jean and they're a lot wider at the bottom um i really hope this is coming up on the camera i actually do quite like them am i crazy i'd love to know what you guys think they're a really nice spring summer jean when the weather's a little bit colder and you need to wear a pair of jeans in this country, but you don't want to wear like something that's really heavy. I don't know, the fabric's like kind of like a jegging. Um, does anyone remember those from back in the day? But yeah, I actually really do quite like them, but obviously I always listen to what you guys say. If you think I've lost my marbles, definitely let me know. How easy is this with some trainers and a little leather jacket or something? So easy. So yeah, I'm kind of into them. I got these in a 40 as a reference, which I think is a UK 12. I do have loads of stretch to them. So next up I have these shorts. They're these little Nike yellow sort of toweling kind of shorts. How cute are they? And then that kind of retro Nike logo that's so trendy right now. I'm gonna pop these on. Hopefully they're gonna be my new kind of like loungewear shorts. I popped on the shorts. I've actually rolled up my top just so you can like fully see the shorts a little bit better. I did get these in a large. <sighs> I'm so in two minds. Part of me is like, damn, you should have got the medium. Part of me is like, no, the large is a really nice fit. They're probably going to shrink in the wash. And I kind of like the sort of slouchiness of them. But I don't know. I'm just so, I am in between sizes a lot. And I feel like when things come in small, medium, large, I am that in between medium and large on my lower half. So it would have been nice to have them definitely a lot tighter around the waist um i don't know how well you guys can see that but there is like a real big old gap there but i could always roll them over or something i don't know it's not it's not the end of the world i love the color i think the color is gorgeous um i also like the fact that you can do this with the shorts and have them a bit more floaty they would be such a useful loungewear um like short to wear in the summer because they're so cool and like breezy i actually kind of really love the like retro fit to them this is what they look like at the back it's sort of like a toweling fabric so if anyone sort of remembers the old school i don't know if any of you guys are going to remember this but the juicy couture tracksuits they used to do and that sort of like toweling material that's exactly what this is so this is the matching jumper now i could be wrong here but i believe the jumper i could only find in like the plus size category so i ended up picking this up in a 1x and 
I, I love the slouchiness of it. I mean, if I was lounging around the house, this is lovely. But I feel like if I did want to nip out, this just doesn't really give me any shape. Like, do I look like a big lemon? I don't really know. I feel like I like both pieces, but separately. So I feel like I'd really like this um, jumper, which obviously has, again, the Nike logo. It's really cool. Very, very retro vibe. Um, I feel like I would love this with maybe the jeans that I tried on earlier or just some sort of shape. So either maybe tucking it underneath. Yeah, even that I think I kind of prefer just to give me a little bit of shape. And then again, I think I really like the shorts, but I think I'd probably prefer these with like a white t-shirt and a big denim jacket. So I like both of the pieces. How much I like them as a set has left me a little bit confused because I don't know. I'm looking in the mirror here and I'm just like, is it like a lemon? Like, is it too yellow? I don't know. But then I feel like if I chucked on a denim jacket, it would be so nice. I've just thrown on my Topshop denim jacket, which I will leave a link to below. And I feel like this immediately just kind of breaks it up. Um, this outfit is definitely not giving me a lot of shape but it would be nice if you just had to pop out or like maybe if I was going on like a walk or something. I just, these pieces aren't cheap, the hoodie and the shorts. So I need to kind of work out whether or not they're worth keeping. I think the shorts I'm definitely gonna keep. The hoodie I'm confused about. I'm gonna try it on with those jeans and see what I think. Quickly forgot to mention this top is 55 and these are 35, so not cheap. Which brings me on to my next item. These are 38 pounds. Um, Honestly, not worth it. I'm sending them back. I've not even tried them on unless they transform my life. They're really cute, don't get me wrong, but the quality just like does not feel like it's worth 38 quid in any way. Let's pop them on. I've grabbed them in a large. They look pretty diddy, but um, we'll give them a go. So here we are with the Puma shorts. Puma, Puma, Puma. There's a whole debate, isn't there? And someone's probably gonna shout me in the comments, but... Um, <laughs> Okay, these are going back. Look at this camel toe situation these are creating on me. <gasps> oh my God, it's so unflattering. However, I think on someone like my sister or someone with very slim legs, they'd probably love these. They're kind of a little bit more of like a hot pan style. They are super cute. These, is them. these are them. This is them at the back. They're a lovely color. They're kind of like a creamy, beigey, um, neutral tone. They have this really nice drawstring uh, look i think they're really cute nice pockets great for the summer great for lounging around in i would never go out of them because of this sort of situation they're creating and they're just far too short on me and they're just not worth 38 pounds sorry guys i just can't justify the 38 pound price tag of these i would pick them up this is the kind of vibe that i'm seeing a lot on instagram and also i want to just have a little bit more loungewear that is warmer weather appropriate so that's sort of what i'm trying to introduce to my wardrobe i keep looking at my phone but all of the prices and information's on here so that is why the next hoodie i'm going to show you is from the collusion collection that asos does and this is essentially their unisex coll collection so i think the sizing is very sort of ambiguous because it's just like one size for all um however like anything is unisex if you see something on the men's website you like the look of go for it vice versa i just buy what i like it's really that simple people ask me all the time like where do you get your style inspo from or how do you decide i literally just buy what i like and that's how i kind of go about it this i saw on misha's video already so i kind of already know how this is going to work out for me but we'll wait until i pop it on this is a really good price it's 25 pounds and i actually ended up getting the size xl so i don't know if it's this jumper or what is going on something has sent the lighting a little bit funky and i cannot seem to repair it so i'm really sorry about that um so this is the jumper that i grabbed like i mentioned i did get an xl purely because i love that just like ridiculously oversized fit the colours on this are gorgeous. So it's a really lovely like blue into this really nice yellow. The yellow is lovely. It's like a proper sherbet yellow. Looks so nice in person. The quality of this is lovely. Like the cuffs are really nice. It's fluffy on the inside. I feel like for 25 quid, it's a really, really nice hoodie if this is something you would want for the summer. I love the branding of this. Um, and when I looked at the Collusion collection, a lot of the stuff was stuff I 100% would buy, but a lot of it was sold out. So I think it's a very popular um, thing that ASOS sort of does. Has this sort of like branding down the front. I, I love it. One little problem. And this is the issue that Misha also spoke about, and it is the neckline situation. So I don't know how well you guys can see, but it, you know, it comes up a lot higher than a normal sweatshirt would. I feel like this is a typical sort of boy 
fit um, that they seem to do in most stores is this like kind of like high neck, which I love on boys. Like I love it. Like I can see this jumper on a boy and I'd be like, mm, yes, a bit of me. But on me, I don't know if it's that flattering to this sort of part of my body. I don't know. I'm very confused about it because I love it. But at the same time, I really don't love it. I, do, I don't know what I think. Um, I do love that feeling of a boy's jumper and it definitely has that sort of slouchy relaxed fit which I really really love. Something I talk about a lot is the dropped shoulders which this definitely has. The colouring I really love. Um, I think it would be super cute with some little denim shorts in like the summer of an evening when you need a little jumper. But I'm thinking will I wear it now? I'm really confused. I'd love to know what you guys think below on this particular one. Maybe I sized up one too many. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna drop a link to it. Let me know your thoughts. I think it's the ombre that's throwing off the camera lighting. So hopefully when I take this off, it's gonna all be fixed. Next up I have this little yellow dress that I'm gonna pop on for you guys. It's from a brand called Reclaim Vintage. This is a brand I have wanted to try out for the longest time. So I'm really intrigued. Um, it looks super cute with the little cut on the back. We'll give it a whirl. I've fallen in love guys and it's with a dress. So um, who'd have guessed it? Not me. So I love this. This is from, like I just mentioned, the brand Reclaimed Vintage. It's a little bit tight on the arms, but we're gonna blame it on the red wine and the chocolate. Um, so I grabbed this in a UK 12. I am gonna point out before I just pan it down really quickly. This is on the shorter side. This is a brand I have wanted to try for so long. This has encouraged me to buy other bits from them. I believe this was 28 pounds. I'm obsessed with the cut of the neckline. So it's super angular and very, very square. But then obviously it has these little puff sleeves, which I just, I've fallen for. I think we're seeing a reoccurring theme in my hauls lately. Anything that's pastel um, or like, in this kind of like yellow color. I just love it. I think it's so pretty for the summer. Quickly just wanna show with you guys the back. Now I do have a bra on. I would not wear a bra with this dress because obviously there's like a big kind of keyhole design at the back of the dress and you would want that to be bare. This is the length, definitely on the shorter side, definitely very like lightweight fabric. It's definitely something for a very, very sunny day or over a bikini, just purely because of the length. Um, even though it is actually a bit longer in the back, which I really appreciate. They've added like a lot more length in the back of this dress. I just, I really like it. I think the shape is very flattering on my figure and I think the color is so nice. Yeah, I'm so impressed with this brand. They basically repurpose clothing and dead stock. So anything I guess that's kind of like left over and remaining, that's sort of what they do. Guys, their stuff is really cool. So I'm really, really happy about this. Um, with some little trainers, again with that denim jacket I showed earlier. This is like such a me outfit. Okay, I'm really happy guys. So this is the little lemon skirt. Um, I hope that you can kind of see how it looks. I did just pop on my white cardigan again, just because I thought these actually paired quite nicely together. Again, this is an outfit I would 100% wear with some little Nike Air Forces in the summer. So I grabbed this in a 12 and I was a bit hesitant about the size. I just didn't, I just didn't know how it was gonna fit, but this has the best thing ever. Um, some people are gonna hate it because it's not the most attractive piece of um, strip of fabric in the world, but it has Velcro. Across the front, it has obviously a little button here, which you can kind of do up. And then it gives you this piece of Velcro so you can adjust how you want it to sort of sit. So I can have it like that where it's a little bit looser on my waist or I can pull it super, super tight. Yeah, I hope you guys can get the full effect from back there. I actually really, really like it. This is a shape that I personally really love. Um, something that is smaller on my waist area and then sort of skims over my hips and my thighs. It's really comfortable. It would be so nice and lightweight in the summer. It literally is like a little tennis skirt. Like if you wanna go and play tennis in this, then you can, cause that's exactly what it is. It gives me the, does anyone remember the, um, Amer I think, were they called American Apparel? They they did these little skirts and I wanted one so much when I was about 14 and they were ridiculously expensive so I never ended up getting one but this is a really lovely colour, a great fit, I love this, I absolutely, I love this, I think it looks really nice with a little white cardi as well so god guys what am I gonna do, well, I was supposed to return like 90% of this stuff yet again i'm keeping it all this is why i don't have any money because i don't save i spend my money on clothes holidays and wine 
So next up, I'm going to try on two things at once to kind of speed this along. This is a little Puma sports bra. Um, as a size guide, I got this in a medium. Then I went for these shorts. I keep working out in leggings, which when the weather's cooler, absolutely fine. When we have those sunny days in England, which we seem to have had quite a lot of lately, I cannot work out in black like Gymshark leggings. It's just far too hot. So I saw these shorts. I thought, let's give them a go. Um, I got them in a large. My only concern is how short they're going to be. But we'll pair both of these together so we can see what our thoughts are. So here we are, all the gear and no idea. Um, I've got on the shorts and I've got on the top. Let's talk about the sports bra slash top first because I way prefer this. This retails for £20. I grabbed this in a size medium and I love this. This is something I will definitely be keeping. Um, I feel like I don't have too large of a bust that I kind of need to wear like super tight sports bras i've got some friends that have like a larger bust and would definitely want to wear a more secure top this is definitely not like the most supportive thing in the world if that's what you're looking for however i actually really like this because it's longer than a sports bra it goes down actually really quite away um and it's definitely more covered but it means i wouldn't have to wear a sports bra and this or like when I wear normally, I normally wear a t-shirt and a sports bra. I could just go out in this and some leggings and I'd feel 100% comfortable because it's not cropped. Do you know what I mean? I don't have all my tummy out. So I actually love this. I think this is really, really nice. It feels really lovely and secure. I really like the fit on me. I think it's nice and flattering. The colour's lovely. Absolute winner before I go on to the god awful shorts. So these shorts retail for £25. Just get them off. Just let's just get them. Like, let, God, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts, but I honestly cannot. I can't stand them. Someone's gonna love these out there. They're just not for me. Um, so they have a really, really thick waistband, which I would normally like, but it's not super tight. It's got like a little bit of a pull in it, and it's just not ideal. And then they are so tight on my thighs. They feel almost like underwear. I feel like if I was running, my whole bum would literally be. I mean, like, look at that. I can't go out in public on my own running in these <laughs> they're not flattering um the shape does nothing for me it's like a big nappy to be honest with you yeah guys these are an absolute no-go for me these are definitely going back they're obviously not made for my kind of body type they're really they're really awful the shorts but it's fine because the top totally makes up for it. Let's just move swiftly, swiftly on. We have another sports bra to share with you guys. This um, I got from Nike. It was £27 and I grabbed this in a medium. This is more of like a classic kind of sports bra fit. So it's going to have the much thicker straps, a little bit of a scoop neck. And as you guys can see next to this top I've got on right now, it's a lot shorter. I just loved the colour um, and I feel like I'm kind of interweaving my loungewear and my active wear whilst i'm kind of in this situation right now so i'm wearing my sportswear just as much as i would joggers and stuff like that so let's let's try this see what we think of it i think the color's gorgeous obviously i do because i'm newly obsessed with yellow <laughs> just pop the little shorts back on um from earlier that i find a lot more flattering to show you guys this sports bra and i love this i think this is kind of cute we really like this sports bra it's really nice and tight the band underneath feels really nice and secure which i really like that kind of fit i think the color is lovely um yeah, very basic, very simple, but hopefully it would kind of do the job. This just feels really nice and secure. So, yeah, I think this is definitely worth it. My gym gear, by the way, I get questions on that, is from all over. I have some bits from H&M. I have some bits from Forever 21 from years ago. I have Gymshark stuff. It's such a range of price and just from places. So, um, maybe we could do a video trying out a particular brand of gym gear. Let me know your thoughts on that. But, yeah, I really like this. I think this is a nice... Um, addition for me so very happy and then the final thing I have is this kind of big oversized t-shirt that I just love the look of again this is from the collusion um, collab or co collection I'm not really sure what it is on ASOS I got this in a size medium I really love the color I really like the logo I just thought with some denim shorts or cycling shorts super easy again I could tell it had that kind of like more masculine fit where it does the like off the shoulder fit and i really really like that so yeah let's pop this one on so this is the t-shirt um it's definitely not as long as i thought it's definitely like a shorter sort of fit i just imagined it to be 
like really slouchy everywhere but I actually really like this fit because I think it's a lot nicer if you wanted to tuck it into denim jeans or denim shorts because you don't have loads of extra fabric at the bottom and I still think it would look really cute with a cycle short so yeah I love the colour I love the bright pink logo I think that's what's so good about this collusion stuff I hope I'm saying it right imagine it's not even called collusion I keep saying that I look like such an idiot collusion yeah Collusion. What I really like about this stuff is all of their branding and like the way they do all of their logos and like it's just very very cool I'll link some of my other favorite bits below. I loved a lot of this stuff but a lot of it was out of stock I just think this is so nice really good for the summer tuck it into a pair of shorts Super easy and like I said, it's got that nice long t-shirt Sleeve which is fab. I actually also really like working out in this stuff because you just pop it on over a sports bra and a pair of shorts and it's loose so you don't get like really hot but you're a bit more covered so okay so my coffee's finally gone cold gonna have to go and reheat this um i didn't realize how many things i had to get through well done cheers to you if you made it to the end of this video there was a reoccurring theme i like lemon i like yellow is something that's obviously happened to me as of late um hopefully you guys like this video i was so surprised i loved literally 80 percent 90 percent of the stuff that came from asos which is a big problem for me because i spent way too much money on the website but it's made me want to purchase from them again and that's not a brand that i typically kind of go on and sort of shop from so i'd love to hear your thoughts below let me know if you're picking any of this stuff up what items you loved what maybe you didn't love so much let me know what other stores you want me to shop from i hope that you're all staying safe and doing well during this crazy crazy time it won't last forever guys um and things will get better so yeah we will all see each other very soon i am sure thank you so much for watching as always i love all your continued support and appreciate you guys more than you will ever ever know um so thank you and i will see you all in my next one bye guys